y'all, my channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. Hey, y'all. It is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I uh, thought I would get down my uh, Fragmopedium's uh, Hannah Papals and let's take a look at them. Now, as you can see, <laughs> obviously one looks a lot better than the other one. This one here has stayed rather small. Um, you know, it was smaller, you know, on the when they were together, when they were on the same um, rhizome and stuff, but this one still, even though, you know, I split them, it grew roots finally, but it's still um, staying a little a little on the smaller side. Now this one here, this one's really grown, as you can tell. I mean, you can see the definite difference in the sizes of them. This one's doing really spectacularly. Um, <clears throat> I did have to add a little bit of moss, a little bit more. I had to mound it up because you see that root popping out right there? You can't have that. You cannot have that. If that comes out into um, dry air, comes out without no medium on it, it will absolutely, you know, dry up and go back. And um, you, you don't want that. You, you know, you need all the roots you can get. And especially on these guys, since I did, you know, chop them apart. But as you can see, they've grown great roots really great roots and um, I have been leaving them with a little bit of water um, it dries out really quickly uh, everything seems to be just soaking up the water these days and especially even in moss um, watch that one be a that piece of moss is wanting to be a pain in my butt <laughs> so anyways but yeah as you can see though the the roots did kick off on these um, after I split them and put them in this moss so I was really afraid that I was going to lose these guys. And that was on 10, 15 of 23. So look at how good they have done since then. This one, this one's really done quite well. So I look for any time a, um, an actual, you know, new growth to start on these. Um, this one, I don't know. Like I said, it's been a little um, further back. Uh, you can see, though, got great roots. She's done real great. The roots are branching. Um, you can see, you know, that is about the only roots in this one that you can see. So maybe her roots aren't as great as the other one. But um, I don't see any popping up front. There are, yep, there's some that came out right there, as you can see. So... I'm definitely keeping it moister than I did um, because um, when I was growing them before, um, I didn't keep them as, as moist. And uh, so they definitely seem to like having more moisture. Um, so I've been definitely keeping more moisture on them. Um, like I said, every every I'll leave that on there and in a couple days it'll be gone. And I'll leave them go for like a day and then I'll add some more water back. Oh, I think I... I pulled moss up off of that. So I think I'm going to add some more to that. Um, seeing that root sticking out there. And you just don't want to see that. You don't want to see any bare roots on these guys whatsoever. You do not want to see a root without, um, without any media on it. Got to keep them covered in... Yep, in this case, they, they're staying moister, so I've got to keep them moister, so that's what I'll have to do, is I'll have to keep after them, and eventually I might have to start repotting them, and um, because I am keeping them wetter, they will need repotted sooner. Um, they will definitely, you know, that moss will definitely break down quicker, so we'll have to keep after the moss even more. Um, I do have... Um, in that moss, I do have, um, you can see it, uh, 
calcium. That is um, calcium uh, oyster shell. So they do have oyster shell in there along with the um, along with the moss. So that helps with pH somewhat. So you can see I did. There's a lot of it in there. So that's helping with the pH and keeping the pH you know decently up on these guys. Um, that that stuff usually it melts a little bit at a time. So it helps so it'll help maintain the pH like that but so far I mean they're really doing really good considering to you know the day I cut them in two like I said when they were on the same rhizome they weren't doing that well and Michael's like cut them off and I'm like hey I don't know <laughs> so uh yep 100 times over thank you Michael I appreciated the advice I went ahead and did it it was either do or die at this point because the plant was really doing poorly and I really hated to lose it. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to lose it at all. Um, and then Michael tells me not too long ago his wouldn't his bloom blasted on his hand up a pile and he threw it in the garbage. I was like, why didn't you send it to me, you dinkle? <laughs> I'd have kept that. Uh, hand up papals aren't that easy to come by, really, for one thing. And um, I would like to give it a shot here, seeing if I could keep it blooming. You know, he, he kept, it kept blasting on him. And I understand it gets frustrating like that sometimes when, uh, you know, I've got plants that it's not that they they blast on me. i got plants that won't bloom. i got cattleyas that will not bloom. So, yeah, I've had those um, Hawaiian Ruby Paradise for 10 years and they won't bloom. And there and there's like three different plants, and I'm I'm like you know I'm half tempted to throw them away, <laughs> so it does get frustrating, but yeah so I don't know you guys hang in there we might one of these days real soon see another bloom on Hannah Papal she's a really cute um, I'll put up my bloom pictures I did have her bloom for me uh, she's a sequential bloomer and it's really nice it's a cute just absolutely baby doll of a little tiny bloom and it's pink and it's just it's phenomenal she's really really so cute that's why I hated I was scared I was gonna lose this plant I really really was um it's really grown special for me um so I hate 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 to lose it so <laughs> yeah so but so far she seems like she's doing really good but yep I wanted to give you guys the update on the Hannah Papal and that's my update so with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.